Thank you for watching Studio 7 from the Permian Basin Chevy Dealers. So let's get started today with a do-it-yourself project that can help you really change things up in your house. In this week's No Place Like Home, Shanti Terry is our guest. She is the queen of DIY. <laughs> You've had a big month. We're going to talk about some of your exciting professional yes. changes. This is blowing my mind. I, lo I love a Lazy Susan, first yeah, of all. Yeah, these are fun. They're always handy to have around the house. I love this so much. Take a look at the before picture of this Lazy Susan. <laughs> it's just a wooden it box. Was just a wooden, it was just a wooden Lazy Susan. I found it, um, and what I did was layer concrete over it. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I did it at my house to my kitchen countertops. When we moved in, we had wood laminate with lime green walls, and I was just... <laughs> I hated it, so um, yeah. I did a little bit of research, and I found out that you can use um, skim coat. They usually use this to like patch floors before they lay something else down, or it's a it's a really smooth mixing concrete. Okay, um, and you can apply it in layers over lots of things, laminate and wood, um, all kinds of different surfaces. As long as you rough them up first, okay. um, you can apply it. So that's what we did here. Uh, you'll just prep your surface by this was just sitting there; it had lots of scratches, so I sanded it a little bit. Uh, you mix up your skim coat with just water in a bucket with a spatula, uh, nothing special there. Um, you mix it to the consistency of something like a, maybe like a thick pudding or okay. uh, maybe a thinner buttercream frosting. Not too thick because you want it to spread well. Okay. But you'll just scoop it out, spread it, let it dry. You can use a trowel or um, I use, let me grab these. I use both of these things here. I have a trowel and then I have a plastic spreader. You put it on and lay it out. Okay. Um, you'll need to leave it, leave it to dry for a few hours. Um, and then you can come in and actually sand down the first layer, do another one, let that dry, do another one. And then we wanted to play a little bit more, so I use the stencil here on the corners. Okay, so this is cool. And you can see in the photos that we're showing you sort of the process. So yes. it was layer after layer. And, mm -hmm. and you say get it to how you want it, right? Yeah, you can do as many layers as you want. I did uh, two on this one. Um, and then this was this is three for the detail, but okay. I put thicker layers. You can do thinner ones if you want. There's really no right or wrong way to do it. It's just until you get the way that you like it. Okay. Um, and then when we were done, I didn't like just the plain color. This one here in the middle, that's more of the what you're going to get from just the skim coat mix by itself. Okay. This we wanted color to play, here. so I got, took some concrete dye. Um, I use this company here, Concrete Resurrection. You can order these online. They have tons of colors. I took their charcoal and their winter white and kind of put it on in different areas and let it sit so it would take and get some aging going on in there oh, for a different kind of cool. look. So you can really play around with colors too. They've got every color that you could think of, honestly. It's pretty easy to do and it's a lot of fun and you could do this on um, your countertops too. It translates yeah. to lots of different surfaces if you want to dress something up. It's really, really easy to do. A way to modernize things. Yeah. Without, you know, if you buy new countertops, that can be such an expensive yes, process. Yes, it is. Okay, so a lot of us are going to be inspired by this. Some of us, like me, are going to go, <laughs> I want that, but I want you to do it for right. me. So, tell me, you, a couple of new ventures that you've launched recently, right? Yes, we started a second booth um, in Midland at Old Town Teak Mall. Okay. Um, it's on Secor Street over there um, off of Illinois and Secor. Um, so you can find us in two locations now. We're at Vintage Deluxe here in Odessa, um, and then we're also over there at Old Town Teaks. We're going to be dropping that one off, this piece over here, off at Old Town Teaks today. So if you wanted to see it or purchase it, that's where you can find it. That and is And you can cool. find and reach us through there or my Facebook page, my website, shantiquesdesign.com. Yeah. We're easy to find if you want something like this done. <laughs> yes, and you know, she is the queen of, I love that she says, oh, it's so easy, which, <laughs> you know, for you it is, but we shouldn't be scared to try it, because what's the worst that could happen if you buy a box like that and just want to experiment, There's right? nothing, really. I mean, just make sure that you spend not too much on it to, for your practice, and yeah. then once you've got it down, get going on your major project, you can do it yourself, too. I love But that. I'm happy to do it for you. <laughs> I love that <laughs> adventurous spirit, done. and I love that you are so creative. <laughs> uh, this is a really cool project. Use this thin, tell me again, it's called skim coat. Skim this coat is Henry concrete. Feather Finish, but most people call it skim coat. That's what it is. And you can use it for all kinds of stuff. Love this. Countertops look great. This looks great. Thank you for Thank being you. with us Thank you. Thanks for having me.